truck. It's been one year since I've been using it and I'm going to give it a review right now. So first things first, my power rack came with uh, these little circular catches but the updated version comes with these J-hooks right here, J-hooks. So if you're lucky enough to buy it, you'll get the J-hooks but I do use the second set of safety catches. For instance, for whatever reason, if I miss the rack, just like any good bench press, it has a safety right underneath it to catch the weight from crushing my skull. So I usually set both of them up. One right after the other, just for that reason. Now of course it does have the actual safety bars on either side here. One and two which come in handy when you're squatting um, for overload that you don't need a spot. Even for bench too, I'll set it up right below my body so if I fail on bench it'll catch the weight. You'll notice here a little blemish. Mine doesn't sit flush sadly. It used to be a lot worse than this. I actually contacted the company to see if they could send a replacement. They did not get back to me so hopefully when you get your power rack everything is fine. If anything is wrong, good luck trying to contact them. But what I did was I tried to hammer it in with a rubber hammer, trying not to break it, so it would sit a little bit better on the rack. That's just one of the two safety handles. A good feature about this power rack is it has an extra few inches from the post to the flooring. That way when you de-rack the weight during squats, this back post does not get in the way of that. You know, it would be annoying to keep flipping around and going into the open area, but you could do all your moves in the stationary position without having to flip around um, every time. You'll notice it comes with a pull-up bar. Good gnarling on the pull-up bar, good grip. A uh, good circumference as well, or I should say diameter. Good diameter as well. Very easy to put together. Just follow the instructions. All it is is bolts, so use the necessary tools to put it together. I did it all by myself. It's a gray finish. Good thing about that, not being black, is you could put the numbers on yourself with a permanent marker. That way you don't have to keep guessing the holes every time. When you want to set up for bench, when you want to set up for squat, when you want to set up for overhead press, uh, you could do that as well. So you can see here, I just numbered all the way down. Every other number just to keep it a little bit cleaner. There is another little blemish on the power rack. There's an extra hole here. Okay, you can see 26, 27, 28, 29. There's a uh, 29th hole. Every other post has 28 holes. So it's just something to consider. Rubber feet, they come off pretty easily. Um, if you want them off, you know, or if you're sliding the power rack around, they might pop off, but they pop back on, so no problem there. Now if you look here, from side to side, from this post to this post, it's a little bit narrow, um, but like I said, I've been using it for a year and I haven't found a problem with that. But if you're a big guy, you might want a wider power, power rack, so just something to keep in mind. I did find dip attachments from a different company. You could check out my video on that. I believe the company is TDS. Their dip bars work perfectly with this power rack. You'll notice now I have it in a different room. The ceilings are low. Too low to the uh, pull-up bar to do pull-ups. So if you really want to do pull-ups on this, what you do is you set the uh, J-hooks all the way on the top hole here on both sides and you would throw your barbell across. So if low ceilings are the problem but it's just enough ceiling to fit the power rack you won't be able to do pull-ups unless if you make that small modification. Of course with your form on the pull-ups you'll have to cross your feet in the back uh, so you can't have your feet straight unless if you're really short so that's another thing as a weight 
plate holders. Uh, I used them in the beginning. I haven't used them pretty much after that because I have a tree here that I got pretty cheaply. So I'll just stack my weights on this tree. Here are the dip bars that I'm talking about, by the way. Um, you could check it out in my other video. So that is that. So overall, to be honest, I have no complaints about it. It's been holding up. You know, I mean, the, the paint will chip a little bit, but I mean, what are you gonna do? You know, so you can see it there, but I've been trying to keep it up on uh, the best I can, just to, you know, keep it clean. Just in case if I wanna sell it in the future. That's about it. Hope that helps some of you. And I'll see you in the next video.